some of you guys are from some really crazy cities. Streets are dirty, bums and homeless people are many. And then this. Oh, gunshots are many and crime is a lot. No jobs and opportunities. You want to relocate and go and check something better out in your life. And that can take you to a new country. It can take you to a new university and you can even meet some new people. Sometimes people of a different race. Fast forward. And that starts the whole conversation with interracial dating, especially some of y'all from the hood, the black community. You get to see some new things, new people, new way of life. And oh, by the way, you got you a new mate from another community, another culture. And the ways of doing things might be a little different. You know what Digital Underground used to say? All around the world, the same song. And the only people who can change the way that the song is created is the producer. And you are the producer of your own life. Rewind! I made that corny ass intro to pretty much talk about this lady Rose and her white husband, Brett. As you know, they are the proud owners of the Queen of Kings YouTube channel. And her claim to fame is that, listen, she had a black dude, baby mama by him, two black kids. The dude left her or she left him and even got with a white man and got a channel with 1 million followers. She was even like so mad at the baby daddy because he kept trolling her. So y'all know I don't usually do videos like this, but it's giving obsessed. It's giving clout chasing honey. Y'all know I never exposed the name of my baby daddy, right? So now that I reached my 1 million subscribers, yes, a girl is famous or whatever on YouTube. He's coming out the woodworks, honey. Tell me why his page has been private for years. Now all of a sudden it's public and he's commenting. Hey, I'm the baby daddy. My name is Adonis. I'm the baby daddy. I want a piece of the pie. Ciao he on there's all these blog posts about me now suddenly hate pages about me because the baby daddy telling people that he been trying to reach me he can't find my address and that's why i moved to hawaii because i'm running from him no you must lie And y'all wonder why I switch. I had to. I switched total sign. I jumped ship, honey. After dealing with that, yes, I jumped ship. If you know what I mean. Mm -mm. And her and a white man are doing big things, y'all. They got like three or four other kids taking care of the kids that she has. They're living the perfect life. I mean. Black women are just going crazy over their love story because, hey, that might be them. If you're a single mom and you always wanted a white man, guess what? You can go and get a white man. You ain't got to listen to Kevin Samuels. You ain't got to listen to O'Shea. Some white guy, six foot five, six foot six, can come and he can just basically booty clap his hands. He can clap them cheeks and then help you pay your bills and raise those black kids as his own. And that would be great, right? We'll stop the show. There's only one problem. Well, the problem is that as long as you have humans, you have problems and people have relationship issues. And even though you're changing your race, and I'm talking about as far as your dating preference, that doesn't necessarily mean you're changing your behavior. And this is a criticism of women that I have. A lot of women feel when they get out of relationship with a man, even if they end the relationship, that nothing is wrong with them. So it's everybody else's fault. It's the guy's fault. They're the ones, it's the prize. They're leveling up. And so somebody would be glad to have them. And there is usually somebody for everybody, but it doesn't mean it's the person that you want. But they don't even want to check some of that disrespect they have at the door. Nope, because again, the way they react to things is okay. The way the man reacts to things is not okay. And there's nothing but unaccountability with some of these ladies when things happen. 
Now, we talked about a viral clip of how she accused him on a live stream of not having any money in her carrying the family. Let's not pretend that I'm not the one that paid the down po po deposit on our house. Let's not pretend that I'm not the one that paid for the Range Rover. Let's not pretend that I'm the one that paid for this whole life that we live. Let's not pretend that. Let's not, Let, let's, not, let's not pretend. Let's not pretend. Oh, okay. Let's not pretend. Let, let's just be very, very real. You told me to put it on live, so I put it on live. So, and then you want to start talking about a glass of wine. And then you want to start saying, oh, are you not going to talk? After I was just sitting here silent before we even got on live. I've been not talking. I've been not talking. I've been not, I've been not talking. So what are you talking about? Oh, okay. But that's not all. There is another clip of her admitting some things about this white guy, Brett. Put it all on. It's about your daughter. You you went to uh, Minnesota or whatever your baby mother is from, and you've been nothing but a deadbeat to your daughter. You knew your daughter. You knew where she was. You did not try at all whatsoever. Let's be honest about the fact that I'm the one that I'm the one that made you see. I'm the one that made you see your daughter. Let's be honest about the fact that when I met you, you was lying about that. You, the fact that you had a daughter. Let's be honest about the fact that you are a literal dead. How angry I got. When I found out that you can't see that little girl and I told you to go uh, and get a lawyer and go fight for your daughter, literally pissed off that you wouldn't fight for your daughter. Let's be honest about the fact that you lie and say she was a one night stand, but your mother even told me that y'all was together. Let's be very honest. So, so, this is interesting. The black men that I always hear when it comes to sw swirlers or divestors it's that, you know, you guys don't take care of your kids. You're not good fathers. You're not this and you're not that. This is what I always hear. But then what about what about these uh, other guys? Right. You know that these white guys also might be deadbeat dads, too. Uh, there was a brother that I had recently talked about in the Dominican Republic, and he noticed there was a trend with white men going to the Dominican Republic and hanging out with Afro Latinas. Like I said, a lot of the American white guys, they take care of their kids. But I see a lot of Canadian guys and a lot of Germans and Swiss that will abandon their, their kids in a minute. I don't know what that's about. But so it's not, not all white guys are the same. I also see German guys take care of their kids. But a lot of times you see a lot of the, these German guys pimp, pimp a girl out and she'll go with it because the white guys do, doing it. Like, you know, some of these German guys will have a Haitian girl, you know, basically sleep with the entire group you know and, and do all types of meaning you know ghetto gaggers type of stuff and it's okay because a white guy is making you do it and i know a few girls you know uh associates and friends of mine you know haitian girls that have baby by babies by white men and do nothing but fight with these guys because these guys don't want to take care of their, their child and i'm like well why did you have a baby with by this guy it's like well you know my family told me if i had a white guy you know my life would be better, but you know, I'm finding out that it's a lot worse. Like he always wanted to treat me like a slave and he wanted to on me or use the bathroom on me and do all types of things that I wasn't comfortable with or, you know, have me on camera and have sex with his friends. And, you know, so a lot of guys do deviant stuff. Oh, you, you didn't know that white men go out there to the DR and other places and not take care of their kids. You, you thought it was just black men that did that, right? And so you're calling him a deadbeat, but you're on YouTube fronting with this guy who you call that's a deadbeat dad and most likely has a kid with a black woman, but you're putting him up there as long as it gets you views on YouTube. You don't care. All of that money that you say that you have, let's just stop the show. If it wasn't for the big white man on the screen, honey, they wouldn't be watching you. If he wasn't there, you would be just another chick with some kids that would be on YouTube and wouldn't nobody else care about you at all. So I don't know why you think you're special because if it wasn't for him, you'd be in trouble. And here's something else you need to understand why you got the attitude. If he leaves you, there are gonna be millions of black women wanting to be submissive to that guy and guess where that leaves you. It leaves you as a single mom twice. One to the black man, 
One to the white man. Dusty. And see, this is the thing that I just don't understand about some of these ladies out here. I don't get why they feel like they are just so special. And to even disrespect a man like this, why would you even feel like this is okay to talk to a man in private? Now, the one thing I like about him, I'll give him that, he's not going back and forth with her, okay? Most men would be clapping back and trying to hurt her feelings. And she's already admitted in the last video I did, she's trying to piss him off, okay? But it only take one time for this guy to really get tired of her, and that could end in something that's really bad for him and her. The reality is, is that the way that she's talking to this man in front of people, she, she needs to understand who she is as a woman, as he understands who he is as a man. And this is what they do. They want a lot of ladies that I've noticed that's okay with her talking like this. A, a woman wants you to be man enough to be able to take what she's saying. And then when you say it back, get all defensive and, and be all hurt. And I get it, right? But you know what? Every man is not gonna do that. And to be honest, no man should have to put up with this at all. I don't care what color you are, black, white, or otherwise. If you are a man, no woman should ever disrespect you like this, especially if you are a man that is taking care of her kids. What does it mean? It doesn't even matter if he's a dead be dad to somebody, his own kid, that is a problem, but you still dealt with him anyway. The issue is he's not a dead be dad to your kid. And unfortunately that does happen. You do got some men that's not what they kids, you know, but they, they, they a good father or a good uncle to somebody else's kids. I don't know why that is the case. And it could be many reasons, but damn, you're disrespecting this white man. Like he's a black man. And this is why white men getting a wake up call. Some of y'all think that y'all safe and they gonna come and give you that same energy they have been giving us. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Did you follow you? Just heard the bell. We're out.